It's Tabletop Time. time. My name is Jen. I'm Murray. I'm Elle. And I'm Krabby. No, I'm Dave, actually. And I'm Brad slash Jazza, who doesn't take a hint. <laughs> because in the last episode, what did we do? I pressed Jazz the wrong button. For? I pushed the wrong <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just trying to get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, welcome to our episode. In the last one, what did you do? We what did you do? <laughs> we went to find a necklace to yes. retrieve it for pet petal. Petal. Uh, we found the necklace with a crabby attached to it. Yes, attached to it. We it took a lot of crab dancing. We eventually <laughs> got the crabby separated from the necklace. We could have put it down and walked away. Keep saying we. I think it's a weird situation. <laughs> Brad decided he wanted a water type Pokemon. Because mm-hmm. he has grass and fire and he mm-hmm. wants water type. So he init- he goes to it. He was indicating this and, and some supernatural force in the universe that decided to deter Brad from trying to pick, <laughs> trying to pick this fight. That was not the point of the episode or the story. And I gave you that Ultra Ball out of pity <laughs> several episodes ago. <laughs> no, I picked it. The universe wanted this yeah, that's to happen. True. But I didn't yeah. have to include it in the random it's seed. True. It was included as so, pity. But it so happens that Brad, uh, we'll get to the Ultra Ball, but the crab, the universe just made this crabby transform into a Kingler, a very, very much stronger Pokemon than anything that Brad has. But Brad has a grass type. And he thought he'd just give it a crack. And Brad has great friends. He has such good <laughs> friends, particularly Stormy, who hyped him up several times and uh, kept the fight going to the point where he got a 14 HP Pokemon down to 5 HP, who knocked out Fomantis as soon as they were in close combat. He brought out Pyro... Uh, sorry, no, he brought, brought out Ignisilk, uh, who's a fire type who really doesn't stand much of a chance, uh, but still... Just gave it a good old crack and happened to get a better roll in the first roll, meaning his attack hit thanks to another hype up from his cousin. His cousin, right? Um, <laughs> Nico, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so it brought down the HP enough to throw the Ultra Ball that he came across a of few Destiny, episodes yeah. ago uh, and lucked into catching this overpowered Pokemon that was intended as a deterrent. Much to Dave's disappointment. <laughs> Brad has not learned his lesson. No. But we weren't in the Lunarium. So no, that's true. It's, so we're not expected not to learn. It's not to learn. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, like, I, my only disappointment is that you didn't learn the lesson. Uh, other I than that. I don't take hints. How long have you known me? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> fair, fair. Think all the way back to uh, Son of the Seraphim. <laughs> Gabe lives. <laughs> okay. And, and then you caught so back. a Kingler. Yeah, I caught a Kingler. And, and Ignisil and, and, uh, evolved, uh, leveled up and evolved to Pyro Web. So yeah. cool. So Very Brad's uh, lack of taking hints turned out pretty well for him, actually. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> and and, and now... Thank you to Victor, who helped revive uh, Fomantis, and thanks to some orange berries, is... <laughs> Fine and dandy. I've Who's never rolling? Seen fail I have literally so <laughs> learned. No, there is nothing punishing me right now. I mean, I've won except spirit. for the fact that I literally got smacked in the face and lost two HP from this Kingler. That's Thanks, true. Jen. <laughs> you really tried to uh, to cut that one short. It's okay. <laughs> Who, who's the person at the front of the battle? Stormy. Yeah, Stormy. Stormy. All right. So you're charging on down Stormy to pedal. go to pedal. Okay. Pedal to the metal. You run up to the <laughs> ad hoc Pokemon Center and are immediately barrel chestedly stopped by our good friend Wiggly. Oh, you're huge. Tough. A hand and goes tough. out like a bouncer. Oh. To stop you. I'll high five it. <laughs> it inflates and looks grumpy. Oh. Did I do it wrong? Tough. Uh, just, I think Quigley wants wait, to know. Just wait here. a second, Stormy. Okay. It, it, it's it's a thing. I'm gonna try and look tough as well. Um, who are you? Oh, um, my friends came earlier. They're over there. What do you mean? Hey, pedal. It's about twenty just centimeters wave. to your right. Just wave. <laughs> Is Ignis like, in, in the Pokeball? <laughs> just wave. Uh, yeah. I see Pyroweb's hanging out. Pyroweb's hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And our pedal runs away into the building. Wait. Oh, 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 oh I forgot. Oh. She barely got used to Ignisilk. Oh, 
There's a stomping as uh, as Wiggly <laughs> Tuff is walking over towards Pyro Web. Oh, it's so cute. Uh-oh. I'm going to call him Webby. Um, uh, Webby, uh... We wiggly might <laughs> tough, wiggly <laughs> tough. All of you. No! All of you. <laughs> make a. I'm going to get you to make oh, a no. wisdom. It's going to be part of the roll. I'm going to hand something to Cookie. <laughs> what are you going to hand to Cookie? Just a berry. Just a berry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get you to roll a wisdom resistance roll. Ah, good, good one. This is a weird roll. This is a very weird roll. I like roll. that, though. That's, it's good for what it's meant to be. And you need to beat five. Well, I have three oh, dice. Wiggly oh. tough. We- and your Pokemon roll it too. Ignis Hook rolls it too. Oh, okay. Wiggly tough. We get, uh, you Just can the, use your body and mind roll. combined. Well, that's four. Melanie falls like yeah. it. It's like it's like the same Jigglypuff song, but just like a bass, 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 like bass baritone. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, Silk is asleep. Wisdom resistance, you say? <laughs> as you're all collapsing, yeah. as Wigglytuff's yeah. ultimate bodyguard defense mechanism pulls into no. play. Well. And uh, so what, what do we roll for the Pokemon? Uh, body and mind. Right. Together. <sighs> you suddenly start feeling really sleepy. Three. Um, and I have two dice. This is for uh, people. Oh, Kingler, you're so big and <laughs> <laughs> muscular. <No. laughs> Does anyone pass? No. You're all just out. Five is a lot of sixes. I rolled five. I rolled a lot of sixes. <laughs> and you want to fall asleep? The oh. end of the episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs> all right. Be well. Okay. So this is going to be a very interesting situation, <laughs> as we now are role <laughs> playing. For no reason other than it could be funny. <laughs> okay. So we are now changing up the role playing order. All of you are incapacitated, and all of you are currently unconscious. There is one active player at the table, Murray. You will be taking on their role in its entirety as we introduce Cookie, <laughs> who eats the Chesto Berry and wakes up from the sleep condition rather than falling asleep. Whoa. So, Cookie, <laughs> you witness. Wait, okay. <laughs> yeah, Mario, you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is uh, this is changing everything. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Troublemakers messing up, my friend. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you hear this poof, poof, as as Cookie watches as uh Wiggly Tough like slings Ignisilk's uh sorry, Pyro Web just evolves unconscious body over the shoulder, starts like thunk waddling down the thing. Making everything a pain for me and Petal. <laughs> uh, just walking up, does Cookie do anything? Cookie's gonna go over to Brad's belt and mm-hmm. tap the Pokeball allocated to uh, Pyroweb to suck it in. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to get you to make a deft of hand intelligence check, mm-hmm. which again Pair mind and body. is going to be mind and body. Challenge level three. No, two, 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 two. That's a smart cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks. Uh, Mind, uh, eat a mind, for that. mind and body, <laughs> just mind and body. Invisible. You have mind and body stats on your thing. See the brain and the and the yeah. and the flexy thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to because two. the human has spirit and health. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's cool. There is a sound as uh, Pyroweb is sucked back into the Pokeball. Wigglytuff turns around. Hey, you didn't like my song. I did like the song, but out of sight, out of mind. Mm, clever thinking, fossil. Uh, walks over, stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> so, why, uh, you troublemakers spooking, my friend? Well, one troublemaker. Little girl wants to say hi. She's right. It's very ugly. 
I've never seen none of them where I come from. What little girl? Me neither. Is this wiggly tough racist? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, what? <laughs> no, the joke was that Wiggly Tough comes from the Kanto region and Ignis oh, Silk isn't okay. from that region, so there isn't any Ignis Silk gotcha. or Pyrowebs sure. in Kanto. It's still In fact, there's no spider Pokemon in Kanto. It's still discrimination. <laughs> anyway. I, okay, sure. Go on. Okay. Uh, little girl has necklace brought back for other little girl. Where? Where's her precious? Uh... Under her unconscious body, I think. <laughs> hmm. All right. So you gonna to help me with this? I can, probably. Good. And you, uh, Wiggly Tough sticks its hand into its mouth and pulls something out of its cheek, like a chinchilla or a hamster, <laughs> and just pulls in classic fashion a sharpie and just pops the top off and then pulls a um <laughs> pulls a posca pen. In fact, there's this little bo- there's a little box that's washed up on the shore that's got like Jazz's art box on it. And it's got a- <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he's like, it was a big fan, actually. Uh, this wiggly tough. Um, and pops open some Posca pens and uh, hands one to Kabuto. Cookie takes one and just sort of like cocks entire body slightly. And then starts drawing on the faces of all of the people that are asleep. <laughs> Does Kabuto have to like Kabuto hug it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at some point. Later, you all wake up, none the rested, not comfortable, with like sore backs from falling asleep halfway on a wooden stair, and like you're just like, ah, oh, sand everywhere. Some of you feel like someone stood on you. Morning, Kabloom. Where, 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 Pyro, where did. Oh, someone put him away. Where are we? And as you look at each other, you all have... Yeah, you're basically in the same place. You just kind of got rolled down the stairs. Uh, (laughs) You you all have ridiculous things drawn on your face, like moustaches and (laughs) monocles and such. You girls look so stupid. Oh, no. (laughs) What do I have on my face? Uh, A a lot of stuff. (laughs) Oh, like a lot. (laughs) That's so cool. (laughs) I try to, like... Like scrub oh, it off my not- face, and it doesn't rub off. Oh, no. And, and uh, yes, Brad's decoration is uh, Kingler, Kingler's <laughs> mouth drawn on your face. <laughs> you look so stupid. I mean- <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is the sign of a Wiggly Tough. Is that Who did that? Wiggly Tough did that? Yeah, it did. Cookie. Do you have a hand in this? <laughs> so, have you all learnt your lesson? Don't put a stinking, scary, <laughs> ugly Pokemon in front of me. Okay? Oh, okay. We found your necklace. But he kind of oh, looks good. scary now. <laughs> <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> you do. That's what I told him. <laughs> I'm really injured. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Adults can take a beating. Anyway, um, so uh, where's my necklace? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It probably fell. Well, can I look for it? Oh, yeah, you, you, okay. if you, you <laughs> had it. You got it. Here you go. Thank you. This was my most precious necklace. It's really pretty. Wiggly Tuff made it for me. Oh. And then puts it on and is very happy. Oh. Oh. Suddenly, I feel connected to my necklace, and um, I feel really sorry for saying mean things about your ugly Pokemon. Oh, it's okay. In fact, in general, I just kind of feel better now. Um, and um, I think that maybe it's mean for me to have stopped you getting inside the Pokemon Center. Can can we go in now? I guess. Thanks. If you want to. That would be Thank great. You. That's really mature of you. Thank you. I know. I'm the most mature person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have, like, a thing to get this off the, on our faces? Uh, she picks up a marker from, like, she's got a bag with some. It says permanent. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that might be the case. So you that means what forever. <laughs> what was that? That means forever. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Mm. Pretty much. It's okay. So- 
That's right. There's some You're really, old anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. There's some really abrasive nuts, seeds, and barks that you can really get at the skin with, and, you know, it bleeds a little bit, but it will come off. I've right. drawn on walls with this kind of marker before, and Mum managed to get it off, so I don't think it's fair Oh, yeah, that. really acidic chemicals as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. We should try it. Um, <laughs> also, uh, I just want to say that if ever um, you put that stinking ugly Pokemon in front of me again, I'm going to battle you with my Pokemon. Oh. Okay. So, um, if you're ready for a Pokemon battle, you know what to do. I got a Kingler. Wigglytuff is going to beat your butt. <laughs> I think Wigglytuff already beat our butts. <laughs> I got a Kingler. I got anyone handled. Uh... And Brad's got like a slight edge to his voice now. <laughs> like. I, not to rain on your parade, uh, Brad, but uh, you have a fairly injured Kingler. Uh, yeah, good point. We should all go into the Pokemon Center. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you very much, Petal. Thank you, Petal. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. She skips Bye. off and Wigglytuff follows after her. And you walk into the Pokemon Center. Whee! Hi, welcome to the Pokemon Center oh at God. Castaway Cove. I'm Joy. Nice to meet you all. You haven't seen many customers lately, have you? Uh, no, but most people around here don't get into nasty Pokemon battles. Uh, uh, except Tyler occasionally when he's protecting everyone, but um, he takes such good care of his Pokemon. Good news. We're really reckless. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> wait, that's not good. Look how injured he is. Well, for though. a good reason, we're helping out the village. We oh. found little Petal's necklace. Well, injured our that our does help Petal stop hanging around here. So that's good. You and now our ahead. Pokemon are hurt. Petal has a mean streak. And she probably needs to learn how to behave herself before stopping people from getting important emergency medical care. Or drawings on our faces. No, that's entirely funny. Uh, and then she smiles a little. <laughs> I'm down with that. It is pretty good. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we please get some medical attention for our Pokemon? Certainly. Of course you can. If you could just show me your citizenship to Castaway Cove. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's just imagine that uh, we're pretty new here and we don't have that yet. How could we get this? Oh, well, you just have to build a house. You didn't tell me there was a house building mini game within this RP system. <laughs> Is there like a little house we could get? Well, well you won't be able to live in that. I mean, you're here forever. Could build one out of sticks. I mean, we could graduate to a bigger house later, but if we had a little house, would that count as citizens? City, 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 city. city. <laughs> Let's just no. What? Tell you what. Mm -hmm. As visitors and guests, we can afford to treat you today. And all your Pokemon. But... You need to get the big tick off from Tyler before you can get regular treatment. That sounds fair. Right. So leave your Pokemon with me and I'll treat them right up. Woohoo! He said treat you and your Pokemon. I say, like, <laughs> waggling my bloody eyebrows. <laughs> you waggled your eyebrows at Nurse Joy? No, no, as in, like... <laughs> you get the uh, oversized comical Japanese fan slapped to the top of your forehead. <laughs> and <then we> go, <laughs> Do they get I meant <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> Can yeah, because you just got to slap. Please help me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my interests only extend to helping Pokemon. Uh, Humans are a parasite upon this world. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. She smiles, <laughs> blankly staring off Aren't into you the middle a distance. Human? Yes? Are you a parasite? Le leans down, like hikes a little like I apron up a little bit to how you know when you go lean down it's kind of constrictive and look, look, see. <clears throat> one day you'll learn something called self-loathing <laughs> <laughs> all right when you should, become an adult we go. you we learn should, it we should we should, we should thank like you love it, but all right quite. leave your Pokemon yes, on the tray yep, no, no worries you grab so much like <laughs> across the backwards across I the I haven't tiles. seen my sister since seven years alright that sucks alright we're gonna pick one alright thanks for Joy uh, do you want us to let you know which Pokemon we drop off I'm assuming you drop them all yeah. off not mine all of them I'm yeah. fully healthy okay. just all Paris for me <laughs> okay yes 
Yeah, you're low, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rocking one, one, and three, I think. Oh. <laughs> Yours are low as well, I assume. Uh, no. No? No, Fimantis got fully restored. Uh, Ooh. Well, half restored. Did, did Iggy restore health when levelling up? Is that a thing or not? Only to their, like, their maximum health increases and fills up by the minimum. So okay. whatever the difference is. All right, well, Just leave them. Yeah, yeah, leave them. It's only going to be, like, yeah. <laughs> roleplay-wise, yeah. it's, it's not going to matter. It's like, fine. That's yeah. so funny. Okay, so... You okay. wander out to the front of the building. And, uh, hmm. Can I get a cutie checks from, from, from y'all? I'll take a cutie check. A cutie oh, check. Oh, you got a little cutie check. <laughs> cutie check over here. You don't have to look very fast. They will now officially, oh, unofficially be known as cutie checks. <laughs> <laughs> I got three. Wee. Nice. Aha. Uh-huh. Cutie check for you. Oh, a bunch of cuties over here. Oh. <laughs> are you a cutie? <laughs> you are a cutie. Oh, three, 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 three. Jen, three, three. Let's, check. let's, let's, see, down, let's see, Melanie. <laughs> Jen's a cutie. Oh, check. Uh, wait, Jen's doing a cutie check. All four of us. Jen, are can you get three bonus dice? Oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> wow. Favoritism. Blink, blink, blink. So Jen's Jen role playing. <laughs> <laughs> so you all get three successes. All of you catch this the cold. small <laughs> um, little shape. So underneath a lot of the raised houses, you have the wooden planks and the stands that they're on like, so you know, raised beach houses because yep. the, mm. the mm. tide can come up. Mm. Underneath a nearby one, you see this little green head poke out and kind of these eyes look up at you and then just as just as you lock eyes with it, it like dashes back behind the <gasps> with three successes each, like we all just sort of turn and <laughs> like dunk, 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 dunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something there. Let's go get it. I'm not investigating this one. Oh wait, we don't even have Pokemon on us. I got my Pokemon. <laughs> You got your Pokemon? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. We got this. You got Plus, it. you have a Pokedex, which That's may true. come in very handy. And you have your brain, Brad. That's true. Okay, let's not fire him too like much. We don't have it last time. We did this. It also <laughs> might just be a small child from the village. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Okay, let's go look. We'll go All right. investigate. May, make an investigation check. Stormy. Stormy's taking this I'm one. I'm so bad at the investigating. Can you just <laughs> <use your laughs> Fake it till you make it. Just do Did it my confidently. binoculars help? No. <laughs> your binoculars do one specific thing. Or not. What? One success. So. These things are broken. S- Stormy is the only one small enough to comfortably kind of get under the, the house and start looking around. Um, can I get a acuity check from those who are not Stormy? Mm-hmm. Another cutie check. <laughs> cutie checks all around. I get a cutie check. We one, have one for Melanie. A little less cutie than yeah. that is Melanie. So I am not a cutie. <laughs> I'm zero. That's short walk. Zero Just took it out of I'm still a cutie. Still Victor, <laughs> Victor, you note that as Stormy sort of like walks around, you start to spot this strange, shy little Pokemon um, almost playing hide and seek with Stormy, but like Stormy oh. doesn't catch sight of it. So Stormy kind of like walks down between some of these like... Uh, Gosh, what are the uprights called? A post. Pillar, pillar of, of wood and kind of looking left and right and then sort of will look around one and then the one directly behind Stormy, this Pokemon will look out behind and then as Stormy like straightens up, it straightens up and it's the exact comical like perfectly shadowing her <laughs> um, and shuffling around, tripping on its little feeties every now and then as it kind of looks around. So, and is it sort of like near me or I can just it's, see it? You can see angle? it from outside of the underneath of this thing. So it's sort of running around under the pier where Stormy is. Okay. Hmm. Um, Can I get... Yes? Empathy, charisma from all of you. Oh. Okay. Eh. Eh. Oops. Mm. Let's re-roll that. Hey. Two. Two from Brad. No, that was Victor. Two from Victor. I always confuse you two for Four some reason. Four from Brad. Four from Brad. Mm. Brad's got high empathy. Yeah. That's true. Like high saying charisma. That was which is, he's got, he got three charisma. Um, it's in comparison uh, to Victor, perhaps. I'm two for Stormy. Same, two. 
Yeah, there's some hefty dice pools there. I know. Mm. Good dice pools doesn't really help, though. Brad, as everyone's kind of looking around and you have no idea, and Victor, you lose sight of this thing and Stormy's still looking around, you get the sense that there's just someone standing next to you. And as you look towards them, this is Brad, you look down towards the ground because uh, you have a sense that the something is very small. You see a small Pokemon with a green head with little red horns on it, um, shyly looking up at you from the ground. Oh, hey, buddy. Huh? You, you were with that... Uh, uh, what was his name? Arden? Monfred? Yes. Arden. 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 Manfred. It's, it's not the same. No, Arden, not Manfred. Not Manfred. Uh, and Manfred's it is actually not magician. the same Pokemon as that. Oh, it's not? No. Okay. Oh, uh, what's your name, little guy? Ralts. Ralts, Ralts, Ralts. Hmm, I'm like slowly reading them. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you have a Pokeball? <laughs> I do. You have a oh, spare open Pokeball? The have, one, the one he got for free from I have old mate. Two, uh, like, the chest over I have two long, Pokeballs. Yeah. You had three. I had an Ultra Ball. I still have none. Yeah, it's same. <laughs> I will. Who's uh, hoarding all the Pokeballs? You haggle with the old man for his Pokeballs. It <laughs> pulls on your hand, like it reaches up with its hand and tugs on your finger, what, what and it? to like lead you in a in a direction. Oh. I follow it. I'm like, hey guys. I think this Pokemon's trying to show us something. As you say that, and the other three turn to look towards you, the feeling on your hand just disappears. And you look down and there's nothing there. Huh. Are, you, Are you going crazy? Everyone look away. I think it's shy. So oh, oh. slowly turn yeah. away from Brad again. <laughs> and then at, well, as soon as no one else is looking at it, you see of a little magical energy in front of you. It just appears on the ground in front of you. Whoa. Did, did, it, did it come back? Yeah, it's right here. Look at him. It's it's disappears. He's going oh. crazy. I'm not uh, turning around, by the way. I've got my back turned still. Can I, I can make, understand you. Can though. I make a charm check to be like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. I, it knows. Okay. It's worried about them. So you can't make a check that will convince it of anything. Right. You've already convinced it. Can I convince them that they're my friends, that they're okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that makes sense, actually. Sorry. Don't, don't worry. Uh, these guys here, they're my companions. Charm charisma. We, we look out for each other. They'd never hurt a Pokemon. <laughs> I, on the Boy, other hand. I, I just <laughs> <up a crap. laughs> picked the wrong one to trust. Um, yeah, can I use You wrong highest on empathy. Maybe this is the yeah. lesson to learn, though. Yeah, like to a person who has uh, literally been running around screaming murders. The who's one got, who's got the most Pokemon? <laughs> that would be... That would be Melanie. Melanie. Just oh, tell me your num I number of three. Pokemon. I you got, got three? And the egg. Oh. Three and the egg? Yeah. You have three. Three. You have oh, three. Yeah. yeah. I have two. Okay. okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. This is my charm check. I got... Four. Four. Okay. Nice. Um, at that, there's a woof, woof, And then Stormy next to you. The green thing. The little green thing <gasps> is standing right next to you. It just teleports in front of you. See? I, was, I found it. I wasn't crazy. It's a pretty Hi. little, like, well, teleporty Pokemon. Well, and it, like, tugs Stormy's hand now. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> he wants to show us something. Where is it? To, where is it it just walks you away from everyone, basically. Just walks you away. Okay, bye. Stormy's gone. Hi, Stormy. <laughs> Do you just follow it? Yeah. Did you guys follow well, Stormy? Reckon, yeah, we well, just followed uh, from uh, a distance. All, yeah. Is, is, is it the one Ralts or there's like one? You think it's now? the one Ralts. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Follow. Cool. Have it be really quiet. <laughs> and it <laughs> wanders and it leads you down to underneath where Magical Manfred is. And it points up towards the Mr. Mime, where you know the Mr. Mime is. Oh, yeah. And then it looks down at its feet and, like, pigeon toes a little bit and shuffles its feet into the sand and touches its chest, its hand to its chest. And then it squeezes Stormy's hand. Ooh. And Stormy, you feel immediately sad and in pain. Like you feel it. Okay. It's not just a matter Stop of being you. Start crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, are, you, are you okay? 
If I let go, does it go away? Yes. Wow. I'm gonna sort of like kneel down, like you, like Nurse Joy did, you know, when you're talking to a child. So sort of look at the rods and say, "Is it that the Mister Mime is in pain?" It nods. I felt really bad. Do you feel like that? It nods. Oh. Why? And then it it puts its head it puts its hand on its head. And then it puts its other hand on its nose and you get the picture. It's like a little duck bill and it emulates doing Psyduck oh, back no. and forth. <laughs> like it has a headache. Aww. Oh. Where? Under? Mm. Is it coming from? It looks around. And then it points like off on the horizon. Ah. What card? Can you make an acuity check? Ooh. Everyone? Everyone or just Stormy? Uh, uh, we'll just go Stormy. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, okay, no, I'm not bad. Not bad. I'm just bad at rolling. Stormy's a <laughs> This is mood. the one. <laughs> Do I know my challenge rating? Or are you just... Uh, challenge rating two and four. Ooh. Nothing. Oh, well. Oh. You're like, oh, zero on five. <laughs> you look off in the direction at points and then you're kind of distracted and you see like a bird fly past and you don't really understand any of the ah, context yes, behind it. it the is bird. bird. <laughs> the bird did it. Dave and I need to swap dice again. Uh, <laughs> and then it, it looks at you and it puts its fingers in its mouth and pulls its mouth out in like a silly face. Oh. And then it sticks its finger on its nose and pushes its little bean nose <laughs> up and makes like silly face with its eyes. <laughs> and then it smiles. <laughs> and then it points off towards the east and tugs your sleeve as it's like, go east. I think it wants us to go that way. And then it touches your hand again and makes you feel like you want to laugh and you're happy <laughs> when it points in that direction. Oh. Can I see what's in that direction? It's just off, way off to the east. There's nothing specific oh. that you can note at this stage. So if we go that way, it'll help with your pain? Nods again. And Mr. Mime? Nods again. Should we go there right now? It clambers up on your leg Ooh. and then like slaps. Uh, do you have a Pokeball? Yes. It slaps the empty Pokeball on your oh. waist and oh. the Pokeball just goes... <laughs> And just envelops it, and you oh, have a roll. No, no. Oh my god! Oh, I want it. Those are good. You don't, I don't have an empty. Oh, one. you don't have an empty you one. You have a pokeball. Uh, no, never <laughs> see it here. I suddenly appear to have one. It, 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 you know what? I it, gave it to you as thanks for it, all the no, high you, you know what? Your the Brad's empty p pokeballs. One of them just detaches and drops to the ground. You're like, what the hell? And yeah. then it just rolls across the ground of its own volition <laughs> to in front of Stormy's feet with like this subtle purple energy around it. And then the Ralts pokes the end of the pokeball and goes in the pokeball. Wow! And you now have a Ralts. Congratulations! Oh hey Stormy, take a pokeball. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I promise. Got to play the music. Of course. Play the pokeball music. Oh, <laughs> I won a mental Wait. battle. There's no. That was good. That was a wave. <laughs> good wave. Where's? Why is it? Oh, it's level zero. Wave format. Oh, oh yeah, it's a baby. Oh, oh, it's a sweet baby. It's, it's a tier zero. Baby. Do we not have? Them? How much health does it have? Oh. Tell everyone how much health it has. A two. <laughs> <laughs> two HP. <laughs> It's just a baby. Aww. But guess that, even though it's tier zero, uh, it, we, it, we need one it's experience. Well, it's we got no sound effects all of a sudden. Aww. Thanks, Streamer. Right. I'll be the sound effects. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I'm loving it. Thank you. Ding. You now have a Ralts. Congratulations. <gasps> yeah. I made another friend, Stormy. Okay. You can name it. Oh, There's like people popping out from the tip here. Like, <laughs> the cutie. No! Manfred upstairs. Cutie. Like, ah! <laughs> I named cutie it the Cutie rocks. after the Cutie oh, checks. I love it. Nice. That we have to do. <laughs> That's cutie. fun. Yeah. Uh, this has never happened before. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's not uncommon, but it looks like Rolts mm. really likes you. Mm. Sometimes the Pokemon choose you. Aww. Apparently, <laughs> I have no experience of this. You just I usually keep brute force them. my way into companionship. <laughs> this was a lot less dramatic than in the last hour. If only I asked Kingler nicely, he would have just popped in the ball on his own. Uh, I don't think that Kingler was gonna listen okay, to anyone. So it wants us to go east, so mm -hmm. well, let's grab our Pokemon. 
Should we go there now or do the other stuff first? Well, I East is where we were gonna go anyway. Yeah. Really. I think I don't think there is other stuff. I think this is the stuff. There's some sand crunching under some feet, and then a so finally decided to go east. You look up and Arden's Arden? standing oh, yeah. there. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we were thinking of buying Pokeballs, right? Yeah. We had help making the decision. I, like, nod over to the freshly purpley misty poke- Pokeball. <laughs> Azalea's been nudging me to go in that direction, too. Oh, do you know why? Hmm, something sad and painful. Yeah. Seems like it's affecting the place. Anyway... Oh. Uh, your adventurer types, you lead. Yep. I'll come uh, with you if you like. We're going to lead uh, backwards yeah. just a little bit to start with. Couldn't hurt to have a guide. And then we'll go. Are we going to get a Pokemon? Yes. Yeah. And Pokeballs. And but, but get some Pokeballs. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we will be doing just a little bit of uh, uh, shopping. Mm. And then uh, how about we meet you at the East Gate or such? Unless you are welcome to follow us around, but I think that might not be very interesting for you. I don't know. Interesting stuff usually follows us around. Just so yeah, you know. I'm following you around and I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll take my own pace, but I'll certainly head out with you. Uh, certainly Helios and Sinaik do with a walk. And he um, throws out two of his Pokeballs and you see a magnificent uh, maned Arcanine just burst Whoa. into existence. Oh. And then next to it, a shiny Luxray, like a Sphinx oh, cool. from Egypt. Uh, so there is the, cat, the ultimate cat dog experience. <laughs> uh, when did you get those? Ah, uh, well, um, I've been all around the world and my partner Pokemon are well, well versed in protecting. We can serve Pokemon environments all over the place, but yeah. Are you trapped here too? I wouldn't say trap. Oh, yeah, you went here last time. <laughs> I've remember. never seen this man in my life. <laughs> I say trapped is all a matter of perspective. Ooh. I figure if I'm here and there's Pokemon that need me, Thank Team you. Ironclad are being rather nasty, so yes, here is where I'm meant to be. This man came here looking for adventure, Stormy. Ooh. I can support that. Well, I'll see you out there. See you there. Also, maybe... It's not that we're trapped here, but everything else is trapped with us. That's definitely right. Brad's view. Let's go, Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Simpatico. <laughs> Does Melanie lead now? No, no you haven't fought a Pokemon. Yeah, you're I, lead. You just have a role now. I just gained a Pokemon. You just got a free Pokemon. Gain a Pokemon. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Onward. So you go and collect your Pokemon, mm-hmm. and you wanted to get something. Buy okay, so while that's happening, head on up also, to a new and new. Yeah, is I, worth. Sorry, that's it. Just while that's happening, I'd like to go to the Lern- Lernarium uh-huh. and I'd like to have a look at the models that Tahan has made, <laughs> the, the displays. Okay, Aww. very good. So, Who wants to go first? Because we have Pokeball buying and Lernarium shopping. Let's go shop. Okay. Pe- uh, Stormy, I'm with you Pedal. You it's your back. first time yeah. arriving up as this uh, bearded, flannelette shirt wearing man in his late 50s looks down at you. I love this guy. Well, <laughs> see, you found a, a craftsman here. What can I help you with? Are you the guy we go to to buy Pokeballs? Well, I wouldn't say it's as simple as buying a Pokeball. You mean investing in the arts and crafts, yeah. Ah, sure. All right. I have lots of money. Well, I need exactly 55 yen and 2 yen, five (laughs) five yen and a 50 yen piece for all the luck. (laughs) I heard there's a lot of... uh, He he assesses the situation (laughs) upon who he's talking to. Um, A lot of reasons for a man of my... <laughs> Age to be needing luck right about now, and uh, uh-huh. most of them arrived on the cruise ship you came on. Uh-huh. You wouldn't so happen to be here said. with your grandma, would you? <laughs> uh... Please, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, no. little Whittler gets uh, gets ahead of himself. It's been a very long time since Whittler's known. Just sell the child. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, you got the money. Uh, you grandma's friend. 
I could be. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another time. Okay. Whit- Whit- Whittler well, fans himself a little bit. He's like, Whittler shouldn't get too ahead. I shouldn't so. give money to strangers, but if you're a grandma's friend, that's okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm by all, I'm ostensibly Just a shop, yes. so. Uh, yeah, so do you have the apricorns? Ah, uh, someone has an apricorn. You have yeah. an apricorn. Oh, did you? Oh, I, no. I, did we I would have handed you the apricorn, handed you, you going shopping. to the shop. That's true. Yeah. <gasps> yes, we do. Right here. Thank you. And for 55 yen and an apricorn, you receive a Pokeball. Yes. Da, 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 da. Which you can just hold on to the Pokeball you didn't give me when oh, it was consumed. I didn't give you a yes. story. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Did I get that Ultra Ball back? I gave it to you. Mm-hmm. Sure you did. Wink. We'll know if he has an Ultra Ball because <laughs> there's only one being distributed so far. <laughs> All right. So now over with Han Lenarium. at the Lunarium. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you, he says. Yeah, sorry. So. <laughs> oh, h- hello. Hello, Han. Um, I'm back. We're about to head off, but I f- thought now would be a, as good a time as any. Um, I'd love to see you, your display. Yes! I made this one. <laughs> Leans in finally, like someone, and, and with the craftsmanship oh, okay. <laughs> of someone who, like, you lean in, and there is a scale model of Castaway Cove, the town, Aww. built out of, like, scrap bits of wood and little bits of twine and rope down there. Um, that's the town. I uh, I add to it every time. I say, oh, look, that's where I got stuck. <laughs> Good memories. Uh, yeah. Um, what would you like to learn about? Oh, actually, while we were talking about the town, we were told uh, we can only get regular service at the Pokemon Center if we have a house here or citizenship. Yeah. How does that work? Well, you basically have to become a contributing member of um, how people... Pokemon Centers, they're really easy in places with uh, modern technology and power and nuclear power plants or magnemite power plants. Um, We have to rely on homegrown nutrients and resources, and it's really hard to replenish them. So... We kind of expect that if you want to use those services that you give back and become part of the community. Yeah. All right. So what's the the threshold for giving to the community? Uh, I'm going to presume that finding a small necklace for a child doesn't quite get you there. What if we throw a really big party? Well, it's it's more like, um, let's say, like you lived here and helped on a day to day it's not really about grandiose gestures it's kind of just about like helping Maybe. tim with his fence or helping whitlock Where's tim? <laughs> <laughs> do you know i spent two weeks scowling up and down the cove looking for a shipwreck that had a good knife when whitler lost his last one and that's the kind of stuff you know it's just being part of the place resigning right. yourself to the in- don't think too, too whoa, far whoa, into whoa, that, whoa. that hole. <laughs> Brad, that sounds a little judgmental. I, oh, no. I was a little afraid when I realized I wouldn't be leaving. Thankfully, I was here with Tyler, so I, you know, I was here with the most important person. But I kind of realized that I haven't, I haven't had to pay tax in two years. Oh, my God. I have a house. Uh, you know what I do? You know what I do, like... Eight hours a day, I I sit on a beach and drink coconut water and swim and play with Pokemon and it's it's literally paradise. It's literally paradise. Well, that actually sounds pretty cool when you put it that way. I used to work in an office teaching people. The amount of unpaid overtime was outrageous. <laughs> they really exploit the educators. <laughs> oh, I could start a lab here. Well, someone could start a lab here. I guess. <laughs> right, I should. <laughs> that would be contributing. Uh huh. <laughs> what was yeah. your field of expertise again? The old labarium. Uh, being a professor. Mm hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, we certainly, uh, we certainly have plenty of space for a, a Pokemon breeder and nurturer and a. Uh, a ranger, we could definitely use, you know, three rangers would mean we could really secure our borders and up our patrols. And, you know, kids are always welcome. They can't fend for themselves. And anyway, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I take your meaning, uh, Han. Uh, yeah, we're going to head off east to. I said two years, four years. 
they haven't paid their taxes for. They've been here four years. Wow. That does sound mighty fine. We'll go east, solve this problem, come back and build a lab. <laughs> well, that was a really good Aerium. tangent from you were talking about things that Aerium. I'd made and you wanted to talk about the displays before Brad started talking about something else. Oh, we don't yeah. have time for that right now. Right, you, <laughs> you got very enthusiastic on both <laughs> subjects, so I understand. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, well, what did you want to learn about? Was there anything in particular? Uh, I just wanted to see what you had created and, <clears throat> well, I want to learn. It's not like there was anything specific. It's that I specifically <laughs> didn't know anything about this place. There's a really excited moment of, like, <gasps> inhalation as as words are about to be vomited at you about the town's history and the minutia <laughs> uh, when suddenly at the entrance to the door... Ah, Han, there you are. Uh, we've got a bit of a situation back at the house. Do you mind uh, checking that out? I've got to go off with Ember and, you know, something about Team Ironclad. Um, oh, hi, everyone. Hi. hi. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. I heard you were taking use of all of the town's facilities. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, we just got a guilt out. trip about that, yeah. What? Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear it. I, uh, no, I, I mean... Uh, he fought a gigantic crab thing. Yeah, we know how to control all the crabbies in the water now. Oh. Really? Mm. Dance. We'll have to... Who started the crab dance? We start dancing. Yeah, these two. It was a really smart idea, right? It worked. And I caught a kingler. All right. I might have to rethink what I've been calling you. It's not the professor. No. The Crab King. Hermit. Yeah, Hermit. <laughs> All right, Hermit. <sighs> I prefer the professor. <laughs> All right, hard-boiled Hermit. Flyboy. Tyler. What about me? You're, you're about to head off, right? <laughs> yeah. Are we Let's sure? <laughs> Do I get a nickname? He leans down gets close and says, what do you want your nickname to be? Supergirl. Well, he stands back up. You definitely look to me like a Supergirl. What? Yeah. Hard-boiled fly boy. We've got Supergirl and, of course, Hermit. I lean in and whisper, Crab King. <laughs> All right, if it isn't, the Crabby Hermit. So, <laughs> Crabby Hermit... Uh, I heard you were heading out east. Arden, let me know. Yep. Yeah. For I, legal reasons, it's super S U P A. Super girl. Super girl. Yeah. Got it. We don't want <laughs> no to worries. Do we don't want to <laughs> so I just wanted to warn you. I hope you're up to the task because um, it's quite dangerous out there. What's, what's, How? what's the task? How dangerous? <sighs> He, he makes he makes a wide array of rather like interesting looking faces. Like rampaging Rhydon dangerous. Ah, uh, Shalos dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> like a rampaging crabby dangerous. Don't go there. Well, uh, look. Let me put it this way. Um, we occasionally have to dig holes out there, and he looks at the adults. Six foot deep ones. <laughs> and putting things, in, putting fresh things in. It's very like dangerous. A body. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a child here. Like an no. underground <laughs> fridge. Un that's right. Supergirl's got it right. Underground fridge. fridge. Okay. Okay. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spare to Melanie for the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> he he, lean, he leans into the adults, but he's like, the Pokemon out there will literally eat you. And then he leans back and he's like, yeah, <laughs> it's dangerous. All right, noted. We will take care in the dangerous place. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. What? No worries. <laughs> Melanie will tell you when you're older. Stormy, mm -hmm. good luck. Maybe no, I got it. I understood. Maybe Stormy should stay here. Oh, instead of no. Me. He claps Brad over the arm and he's like, Island living. you got to learn how to survive someday. Exactly. 
exactly. I want to see the underground so oh, to the so other you're saying adventures. Is we should let the child remain in the front of the this group. Hey, not a citizen of Castaway Cove. <laughs> wow. That sounds like a yes. Let's go. Okay. Hey, if you want to stay here, of course you're welcome. Adventures aren't made by sitting around in one spot all the time, Brad. No. They're made by going out there and facing these holes. Don't worry, they only usually eat people who are stuck in plane seats and can't run or maybe don't have Pokemon to fight for themselves. You'll be fine as long as you run or, you know, use your Pokemon to get out of danger. You hear that, Brad? Run. Gotcha. Run. <laughs> mm-hmm. Unless. No, run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck, everyone. Okay. Thanks. 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 Just remember, just remember, uh, <clears throat> I've talked to Joy and made sure she knows that uh, first one's free. First one. Yeah, we've, we've already ticked that one off. Just but, making sure you know before yeah. you go off to the very dangerous yeah. area. <laughs> yep. So, uh, you know. Thanks. Thanks, traffic code. Uh, but- Hey, I like the way you play. All right, super girl. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> and you all At head least. off. That's East. it. Meeting Arden at the edge of town. I'll get Rots out so Rots can kind of help. All right. As we're walking Keep over, I'm going to say, well, as long as we can also work out what's uh, plaguing Mr. Mime and the rest of the psychic Pokemon here, I think that would probably count pretty well for assisting the community. I agree. Yeah, or maybe fixing the bridge. True. We'll try and do the first one. If not, we have a plan B. Sure do. All right. Onward. Off we go. And you wander out, walking into the new route. And Arden can be seen way up ahead, out into the root. <laughs> a big bird comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and you wander out into this savannah area away from Castaway Cove until you reach a wonderful bridge, a wooden bridge and a fast-flowing river and a wooden bridge that has broken and collapsed. No! Down into the water. What is it uh-huh. with this town and bridges? Classic hindsight. Is that a different bridge? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Arden standing there. Oh dear. Well, uh, this seems a bit of a bother. Yeah, we, we did hear something about this. Apparently, Iron, Ironclad was here, broke this bridge, uh, but they also broke the bridge south. When yeah, they seem to like breaking everything. bridges. Yeah, you're telling me. I thought friendship was about building bridges. That's yeah. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> well, uh, and he leans down, pulls out a book, and starts leafing through his book. It's a long and he's like, <laughs> and he licks his finger and turns a bit of a page, and he's like, "I'm going to do some sketches on the uh, environment around here, but um, if you work out a way to, if you work out a way to fix the bridge, well, that would be wonderful." Mm, can we look on the beach for bridge pieces? There are some bridge pieces in the water. Oh. Uh, I said bridge pieces in the water. Are they floating or are they sort of they're sucked? Float, they're floating. All right. Um, big logs and such. Uh, would it be possible wood, to, s- <laughs> to use some water Pokemon to nudge the bits of wood towards the shore? How strong is the current? You could attempt to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, I would test... The waters. The current. The Pokemon, you, if you have I'm water Pokemon, they're, they're, they're effective water. enough <laughs> yeah. to swim fast enough to swim back to shore. <laughs> Worst case. Yeah. Um, what water Pokemon have you got? Cookie. Cookie. And anyone else? Yeah, I'll, Just send, cookie? I'll send out Little Eye. Yeah. <sighs> that was a good reaction. I just like Little Eye. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> God yeah, she, she has that effect on people. Little Eye comes out. Hi, sleepy buddy. <laughs> yeah, hi. So sweet. So <laughs> Wake up, Victor. Oh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so, you have Lodolai. Give her a belly rub. Uh, cookie. So just two. Okay. So, you're going to ask them to... Someone else has a yeah, See if they can basically nudge some wood back yeah. towards the shore. Can I get you to make a authority check? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Challenge level two. Both of us, or just... I would say both of you. 
Is that on two dice? Authority mm-hmm. charisma. Yes. I this is how you boy. effectively command them. <laughs> I already had two. Lot of lies, yeah. very sleepy. Nah. Okay. What? All right, you both ineffectually coordinate and command your Pokemon as you attempt to get them to move these bits of wood closer to shore. And with two Pokemon, you I'm going to get, because Mari initiated it, I'm going to get Victor to roll. So with two Pokemon that are water type, you have two dice and the challenge level is two. Mm-hmm. Had you got successes on your checks, you would have got more dice. You can roll two dice. If you get two successes, they'll manage to bring some of the wood back to the surface. Do you have any help with Kingler? His water type. Only if you're offering, Brad. <laughs> I. <laughs> All right, make I, an authority check. Right. Challenge level three. Three. Three hey. successes. Well done. There's a Pokeball explodes out, and with a little bit of anger, Kingler. Hey, buddy, can you help these guys put the bridge back? we got to get across. Make an authority check. This one's challenge level two. This is, so this is now, this, that was to yep. command Kingler. This is the same check that they did, yep. just to coordinate. Nothing. All fail. Oh. But it is now three dice for Victor as there are three water Pokemon. You need two successes. Yay. All right. I helped. Kingler goes out. <laughs> Kingler does go out and help. It's just you're, yep. you're all ineffective at coordinating. Yay. Three Yay. successes. Three and be nice. done. And then there's all like... I know they don't count, but all critical. No, nah, one, one was just a success. Oh, okay. After it's several still minutes, it's still so cool. Yeah. <laughs> After several minutes of work, the Pokemon managed to push these logs up against the edge of the sand and retrieve all of the logs in the water. But you note know that while well, you've got them in front of you, it's definitely not enough to finish the bridge. And you might have to go looking around. And right as you look up, look left, look right, look right, look around the horizon for where you might need to go next, the hair on the back of your neck stands up as you hear a out in the distance as this loud, shrill screech, unlike anything you've ever heard before, uh, echoes out across the valley. But we'll find out what created it <gasps> what? in the next episode. Leaving wow. me on the edge of my seat. I try. <laughs> Kingler's just waving at you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. We hope you've been enjoying Yay. our slightly shortened episodes to allow you to get a weekly dose of tabletop time roleplay while Jen and I are in America. And if this America. is next Wednesday, Jen and I are reporting you to you live from South Beach in Miami. Uh, enjoying, yeah, enjoying probably cool. a bit of a swim, maybe a cocktail. Maybe we'll see uh, a you guys. Yeah, we might see a Kingler. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.